how about this? New at noon, the first U.S. clinical trial of bionic arms for children created on 3D printers launched today. This is really, really cool. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman explains how UCF has played a big role in making this happen. Today's announcement was not only a big deal for Limitless Solutions and UCF, but also the industry as a whole. These are some of the prototypes that were announced today. It also means that these arms here are getting results for kids who need it the most. This is the first step in the future for the next generation of prosthetics. And it's a future that looks bright. UCF-based nonprofit Limitless Solutions announcing a partnership with Oregon Health and Science University. Together, the two schools will begin clinical trials on the next generation of 3D printed bionic arms for children. This is really like the first step in being able to get a lot more kids their bionic arms. Kids like Alex Pring, who was the first to receive a prosthetic from the company in 2016. I can hold the paper much better with it. I can actually grab a whole box without slipping over. The clinical trials mean 20 children will be testing the latest model of the arms, which allow for independent finger movements. They also have a range of interchangeable new designs. If your daughter one morning wants to be her favorite princess, she can do that. If she's playing her in her soccer game in the afternoon and wants to match her uniform, we can do that as well. The trial is expected to be the first of many, which could lead to FDA approval and the prosthetics covered by insurance companies. With 2.1 million people in the U.S. suffering from limb loss, Limitless says this is something that can make a difference for so many. At this point, Limitless is looking for children to participate in the year-long trial and also any future trials. We posted information on how to participate under this story on ClickOrlando.com. Reporting at UCF, Mark Lehman, News 6.